Elapsed Time, 6.1b. This is the second part of this lesson. 6.1a is linked in the description. We can find elapsed time across a.m. and p.m. and across days. Elapsed time is the amount of time that has passed from the start to end of an activity. And we can make a number line of the hours and minutes on a clock, or we can make a table or list for elapsed time. Lisa went to work from 8.15 a.m. to 5.35 p.m. How much time elapsed while she was at work? So, she started work at 8.15 a.m. in the morning, and she worked until 5.35 p.m. in the evening. So we can make a number line for the clock. Here's 12 a.m., that's midnight. And then we put all the hours. Here's 12 p.m., that's noon. And then we go back to 12 a.m. So here's 8 o'clock in the morning, and we have little increments here for 8.15, 8.30, and 8.45, splitting the clock into four parts. If she started at 8.15, we can count 915, 10, 15, 11, 15, 12, 15, 1, 15, 2, 15, 3, 15, 4, 15, 5, 15. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hours to 5, 15 p.m. So we have 9 hours. The minutes would go from 5, 15 to 5, 35 p.m. The difference between 15 and 35 is 20, so the elapsed time would be 9 hours and 20 minutes. Now we can also make a number line going from 8 a.m., because she started at 8.15, going to 6 p.m. That's a little bit after 5.35 p.m. And we can count how many minutes are from 8.15 a.m. to 9 a.m. That would be 45 minutes. Then we can count the hours from 9 to 5 p.m. And she got out at 5.35 p.m., so there's 35 minutes here. So we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hours, plus 45 minutes, plus 35 minutes. We can add the 45 and the 35 and get 80 minutes. And we can rename this 80 as 1 hour and 20 minutes because there's 60 minutes in an hour. We take a 60 from here, we give it to here, so now there's 9 hours, and that leaves 20 minutes on this side. It's 9 hours and 20 minutes. We could also solve this by making a table or a list. She starts at 8.15 a.m., at 9.15 a.m., one hour has elapsed. And we count to 10.15, 11.15, all the way down, counting how many hours have elapsed, counting forward. We can get to 5.15, which is nine hours. When we get to 5.35 p.m., the difference between these minutes is 20 minutes. We have nine hours and 20 minutes. If a movie was two hours, 25 minutes long, and it ended at 4.15 p.m., what time did it start? We can count the hours backwards and count the minutes backwards. It ended at 4.15 p.m., so an hour before that is 3.15 p.m., two hours before that is 2.15 p.m. We can go to 2 p.m., and by taking that 15 minutes away, we now have 2 hours and 15 minutes on this side, and it was supposed to be 25 minutes long, so we need to have this go back another 10 minutes to make the minutes a 25, and 10 minutes before 2 p.m. would be 1.50 p.m. So the movie started at 1.50 p.m. Bob mailed a birthday present to his sister at 10 a.m. Monday morning. It arrived on Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. So how much time elapsed until his sister received the gift? Well, he mailed it at 10 a.m. on Monday. So if we go to 10 a.m. Tuesday, that's one whole day that elapsed. That's 24 hours. 10 a.m. on Wednesday, 
That's two days that it elapsed. Well, she got it at 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday, and we're only at 10 a.m. So if we do 11 a.m., we're at two days, one hour. 12 noon would be two days, two hours. 1 p.m., 2 p.m., now we're at two days, four hours. It arrived at 2.30 on Wednesday, so we need to add a half hour. So we've got two days, four hours, and 30 minutes. We just counted the hours forward. So how many hours elapsed? Well, one day is 24 hours, and it was two days. Two times 24 is 48. That's 48 hours, plus that four hours, and plus the 30 minutes, which is a half hour. It took 52 and a half hours for it to arrive in the mail. So we can make a number line for the clock to find elapsed time. We can make a table or list and count the hours and minutes forward or count them backward. Either way. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.